We appreciate you all being here today. We're going to, before we start our uh, meeting, we have Pastor Christopher Henderson Johns from Mount Moriah to Methodist Church uh, to pray for us, if you would, and then we'll uh, open our meeting with the pledge. Good morning. It's uh, an honor to be with you this morning. Let's be in an attitude of prayer. God, we thank you for this day and for the group of folks who have gathered here. Uh, we pray for wisdom and discernment as um, we go about the business of uh, Claremont County. God, we pray your blessings uh, over the government of this county, its residents and uh, leaders uh, who call this place home. God, we pray for safety this afternoon in uh, what seems to be yet another winter storm. And if it's not too much to ask, we pray this is the last one. And uh, God, we pray that all in your holy name. Amen. Amen. That one. <laughs> if you'll join me in the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So, first item of business is to pay our bills, resolution 21-15. Our bills in the amount of 1916 uh, $1,803.28. Do we have a motion to pay our bills? So moved. I'll second that. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item number two. Hello. Connie, how are you? Hello. Connie Tibby. Connie Tibby with the Department of Job and Family Services. Item number two is a recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to execute a 4D service contract buying between the Department of Job and Family Services Child Support Enforcement Division and the Claremont County Clerk of Common Pleas Court in Batavia, Ohio, for the prison of provision of services on behalf of the Department of Job and Family Services Child Support Enforcement Division, including filing, docketing, recording, issuing service, and issuing notice of service at the rate of $19.36 per hour for a total of 2,900 units for a total amount not to exceed $56,131.48, effective April 1, 2015 through March 31, 2016. Pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein and contingent upon the issuance and receipt of a purchase order, therefore. Okay. Do we have a motion to execute the 4D con service contract as contained in item two? I'll make the motion. I'll second that. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item three? Aye. Thank you. Mr. Grabowski, how are you today? Wonderful, sir. How are you? How's everyone? Good. You're preparing for the winter storm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm optimistic, and I'm going to portray a positive attitude. There we go. We're all optimistic. Don't necessarily like it necessarily. So, um, agenda item number three is a recommendation for myself, Wade Grabowski, Director of the Facilities Management Department, with a concurrence of Mr. Stephen H. Rabel, County Administrator, to execute a contract for services by and between the Board of Commissioners of Claremont County, Ohio, and Orchid LLC, Fairfield, Ohio, for the provision of pest control services for calendar year 2015 in accordance with the scope of services identified in Exhibit A, attached thereto and made a part thereof in an amount not to exceed $18,000 pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein. Okay, do we have a motion to execute the contract for services as contained in Item 3? I'll second the motion. Mr. Proud. Yay. Mr. Ubel. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Item 4. Lyle, good to see you, sir. Lyle Bloom, director with the Water Resources Department. Item number four is a recommendation to execute maintenance bonds in the amounts outlined below as surety for the installation of water and or sewer main extensions uh, to serve the following subdivisions. The first is the Woodbury Glen subdivision, section 3B1 in Batavia Township. The water bond is 1,000 and the sewer bond is 2,000. And the last there is Weatherby Farm Subdivision, Section 10, Block A in Union Township. And the sewer bond is 1,900. Okay. We have a motion to execute the maintenance bonds as contained in item four. Uh, we'll make the motion. Second the motion. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item five? Item 5 is a recommendation to authorize Edmund H. Humphrey, President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute change order number 1 to the contract with Form Technologies out of Chesterfield, Missouri. This was previously ratified by the Board 
on October 2nd, 2013, relative to the collection system rehabilitation project located in Union, Pierce, Miami, and Batavia Township and represents a decrease in the amount of $67,937.04 for a total adjusted contract price to date of $1,375,901.96, as well as a time extension of 237 calendar days for the completion thereof for a revised contract completion date of December 4th, 2014 for additions, deletions, and or modifications. There too is defined therein. This is the final change order for the project. There is quite a bit of a time extension on that during the, the this project. Uh, we had some sanitary sewer collapse in off of Branch Hill, Guinea in Miami Township. We added that area to this project, so they went and they had actually come back and line, do some additional lining for us, but we captured that under this contract. Good. We have a motion to execute the change order number one and final to uh, item number five. So moved. I'll second. Mr. Proud. Yay. Mr. Ubel. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Item six. Item six is a recommendation to execute a contract between the Board of County Commissioners and Garland DBS Incorporated out of Cleveland, Ohio. And this is relative to the Middle East Fork Wastewater Treatment Plant Grit and Screen Building Roof Replacement Project located in the village of Batavia in accordance with the scope of services as identified in Exhibit A, which is attached thereto and made a part thereof for a total amount not to its not to exceed $405,020, effective March 4th, 2015, with said service to be completed within 100, 120 days thereafter, pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein. And this would be replacement of the roof, again, for the grit and screening building. Those were built in the, in the 70s. Um, it's a steel uh, roof system. We're actually going to replace the entire, the, the steel is completely deteriorated due to the uh, sewer gases. So they're replacing that with a concrete roof system. Well, where, where is that facility? It's not part of the uh, Bob McEwen plant. It's right. If you follow Haskell Lane back, um, it's past our administration building all the way at the end. We have um, our second largest uh, regional uh, wastewater treatment plant, the Middle East Fork wastewater plant. And so it's one of the, the buildings there. Great. It's a substantial sum of money, but Correct. a big building and concrete roof. So. Yes. And it's a complete, I mean, they're not just putting new shingles on or anything. Right, like that. right. They're, they're tearing the whole roof off, putting a complete Replacing type of roof with concrete. On. Yes. Painting the interior, painting the exterior, replacing uh, doors, and uh, there's overhead garage doors that they're replacing as well. Okay. That, that, that building's pretty gross. Major upgrade. I mean, just naturally. Yes. Yeah. That's the. <laughs> Where we remove the the bad Gross. stuff from the sewer um, before it goes into the rest of the treatment process. Oh, so. okay. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the smelly I re stuff. I remember that. Keep, one. keep yeah. the smelly stuff in a building. Yeah, yeah. that's gross. They go. In, it goes into the dumpsters, and that's the stuff that actually just goes to land. You wrangled, and I saw that one yes, one day. That was an interesting one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't need to no. see it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know. Right. Like so do we have a motion to execute the contract as contained in item six? I'll make the motion. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Item seven? Thanks. Item 7 is a recommendation of Gary Bryant, Director of Court Services for the Clermont County and Juvenile Court with my concurrence to execute Amendment Number 8 to the multi-county contract by and among the respective boards of county commissioners of Brown and Claremont counties and the juvenile divisions of courts of common pleas of the participating counties through the respective judges, previously ratified by the Board of County Commissioners on 12-13 of 01, and subsequently amended on 12-19 of 07, 8-13 of 08, 2-24-10, 3-9-11, 3-14-12, 3-27-13, 3-12-14. It's relative to the operation and management of the Claremont Multi-County Juvenile Detention Center, which represents an allotment of two beds at a per diem cost of $95 per bed, and any admissions of juvenile offenders in excess of the guaranteed two beds based on availability at a rate of $101 per diem per bed, effective 3 1 of 15 through 229 of 16, pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein, and with all other terms and conditions to remain in full force and effect. Okay, do we have a motion to execute the amendment number eight to the multi county, multi -county contract that's contained in item seven? So moved. I will second that. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Yeah. Aye. It's been a nice, nice partnership. It is. And the continuation of that is item eight. That's correct. Uh, item eight's recommendation Gary Bryant, Director of Court Services, Claremont County Juvenile Court. 
my concurrence to execute amendment number six to the contract for detention services by and between the county of Claremont, Ohio, and through the Board of County Commissioners of Claremont County, Ohio, and the Judge of Common Pleas Juvenile Court in the County of Adams, Ohio, by and between the Board of County Commissioners of Adams County and the Judge of the Adams County Juvenile Court. It's previously ratified on the same dates as I just mentioned. Reallocation of two beds for juvenile offenders at the Claremont County Juvenile Detention Center at a rate of $95 per diem per bed, and any admissions of juvenile offenders in excess of the guaranteed two beds at a rate of $101 per diem per bed, effective 3 1 of 15 through 229 of 16. It will have a motion to execute amendment number six is contained in item eight. So moved. Second. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item nine. Good morning. Jeremy Evans, the Claremont County Engineer's Office. Item nine is a recommendation of Patrick Munger, County Engineer, with the concurrence of Stephen Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize the release of a combined performance and maintenance bond previously converted to the maintenance bond phase for the following subdivision located in Miami Township and to accept the street and the length stated situated therein as a public road for placement into the Miami Township public road system. The subdivision is the Woods at Miami Trails subdivision, section 11, block C. Uh, the street is uh, Ridgewood Drive, uh, a length of 0.131 miles. Uh, the maintenance bond was $10,000. We have a motion to authorize the release of the combined, combined performance and maintenance bonds and to accept the street into the system as contained in item 9. So moved. Second. Mr. Prout? Yay. Mr. Uber? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item 10? Item 10 is a recommendation of Patrick Munger, uh, County Engineer, concurrence of Stephen Raybolt, County Administrator, execute record plat number 629-2911 for the following subdivision located within Union Township and further to execute the performance bond for sidewalks as surety for same. The subdivision is Weatherby Farms, Section 10A, uh, performance bond for sidewalks in the amount of $13,720. Okay, we have a motion to execute record plat 629-2911 as contained in item 10. I'll make the motion. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item 11? Item 11 is a recommendation of Patrick Munger with the concurrence of Stephen Raybolt, County Engineer, I'm um, sorry, County Administrator, to execute Record plat number 629-2912 for the following subdivision located within Batavia Township and to further execute the combined performance and maintenance bond as well as performance bond for sidewalks at surety for same relative to the construction of the below listed street. That street is Apple Farm Drive, uh, distance a length of uh, 0 0.07 miles uh, contained in Woodbury Glen subdivision section 3B1, Batavia Township. Performance bond is 15,000, maintenance bond 10,000, Performance bond for sidewalk, 7,600. Okay. Do we have a motion to execute record plat 629-2912 as contained in item 11? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item 12? Item 12, recommendation to accept the contract by and between the County of Claremont, uh, Ohio, and Lake Erie Construction Company of Norwalk, Ohio, for project number PID 97305 relative to the 2014 guardrail program for various townships located in Claremont County, Ohio, as complete as of 7 12 14, and to approve payment number three and final in the amount of $13,267.20, which represents the release of retainage relative thereto. Okay, do we have a motion to accept the contract as contained in item 12? Um, go ahead. Well, I'll, uh, it's your turn. I'll make a motion. <laughs> Sorry. I will second that. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. 13? 13 is a recommendation uh, to accept the contract by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and ANA Safety, Inc. of Amelia, Ohio, for project number PID 97304 relative to the 2014 pavement striping program for various townships located in Claremont County as complete as of 9 16 14 and to approve payment number three and final in the amount of four thousand nine hundred seventy two dollars which represents the release of retainage relative thereto we have a motion to accept the contract as contained in item 13. so moved i will second 13. mr proud yay mr. Ubel? yes Aye. item 14. thanks jeremy thanks jeremy 
Hi, Suki. Good morning. Suki Sheets with the Office of Management and Budget. And item 14 is a recommendation to execute amendment number five to the lease agreement between the county and the Ohio Department of Public Safety Procurement Services out of Columbus. This was previously ratified by the commissioners on October 19th of 2005. And then we've amended them on January 4th of 2006, April 10th of 2007, July 6th of 2011, and June 12th of 2013. This is for a lease of 1,939 square feet of office space in the county building located at 457 West Main Street in Batavia for the purpose of the driver's examination operation. This will provide an extension of this lease for an additional two-year term beginning July 1st of 2015 through June 30th of 2017. And the rate for this term will be $13.55 per square foot. Um, all of the other terms and conditions of the agreement will stay in force. So this is for our one-stop BMV auto title driver's license. Does Columbus tell us that it's $13.55? We give Columbus rates. Um, so this was a rate that we had set with them two years ago. It was a step-up rate, and it's, it approximates our cost to operate that building. We, you know, it varies, obviously, from one year to the next, but it's, it's their share of the cost. Um, what you'll see, my next one is another lease agreement for another occupant in that building. The rate actually will vary because we're also amortizing the office furniture that we provided to them when we built that building. We have a motion to execute amendment number five as contained in item 14. I will make a motion for 14. Mr. Ewell? Yes. Mr. Crowd? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item 15? Okay, item 15 is a recommendation to execute amendment number one to the lease agreement between the county and the Ohio Department of Public Safety. This is for a lease in the same building. It's for 1,565 feet. Um, for the purposes of the deputy registrar. This is an annual rate of $30,177. Um, it's payable that by the deputy registrar every month at a rate of $2,514.78. This term now begins July 1st of 2015 and ends June 30th of 2017. We had started this lease back in May of last year when the deputy registrar was outsourced and the, the state executed a contract with our current deputy registrar. So the per square foot rate's a little different because this, the building, the um, office furniture for this was a little different than what the driver's license people have. Okay. We have a motion to execute amendment number one as contained in item 15. So moved. I will second the motion. Mr. Proud. Yay. Hubel. Yes. Humphrey. Aye. 16. 16 is a recommendation to reschedule the date of the viewing of public hearing on a proposed vacation of a portion of limited access right away identified within parcel 41 31 05 D 140 on the tax maps of Claremont County, of which a portion is the state highway system for the eastbound ramp to State 32 and Eastgate Boulevard, situated in Union Township, in conjunction with the Eastgate Boulevard and State Route 32 improvement project. This is pursuant to Section 5553.04 of the Ohio Revised Code and to authorize the clerk to place legal notice in the Claremont Center for two consecutive weeks commencing Thursday 3-12-15, designating the date and time of the rescheduled viewing and the date and time and location of the rescheduled public hearing for a proposed vacation pursuant to Section 5553.05 of the Higher Revised Code, with the viewing and final hearing to be held on Wednesday, April 1st, with the viewing at 9 o'clock a.m. local time and the final hearing at 11 a.m. local time in the Office of the Board of County Commissioners, 101 East Main Street in Batavia, Ohio. Anything to add, Judy? No. Okay, do we have a motion to reschedule the date of the viewing and public hearing as contained in item 16? Uh, I'll make a motion for 16. Second. Mr. Schubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item 17. Item 17 is a recommendation to accept the request of the Board of Batavia Township Trustees to initiate procedures to change the name of Olive Branch Stone Lake Road, known as T 3114 to Olive Branch Cemetery Road located in Batavia Township and to authorize a clerk to place notice for the public hearing in the Claremont Sun for one week commencing Thursday, March 12th, designating the date, time, and location of the public hearing to be held thereon pursuant to and compliance sections 5541.04 of the High Revised Code. Public hearing to be held Wednesday, April 8th, 11 a.m. local time in the Office of the Board of County Commissioners. This is a little stub. We have a motion to initiate the procedure to change the name of Olive Branch Stone Lake Road to Olive Branch Cemetery Road is contained in item 17. So moved. I will second that. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Yuval? 
Yes. Jumping. Aye. Item 18. Item 18 is my recommendation to authorize Commissioner Humphrey, President of the Board, to execute change order number five to the communication system agreement buying between the Board of County Commissioners and Motorola Solutions of Schaumburg, Illinois, previously ratified by the Board of County Commissioners on 12 19 2012, and subsequently amended on 8 14 of 13, 12 4 of 13, 4 30 of 14, and 8 6 of 14. Relative to the acquisition of a countywide P25 800 700 megahertz mixed mode simulcast voice radio system for Claremont County for public safety and services, which represents a decrease in the amount of $125,000 for a total adjusted contract price to date, $7,330,210 for additional solutions and or modifications thereto as defined therein. Okay. okay what, what was the change on this one? Yeah. Uh, we are removing a portion of uh, uh, security code that we don't need in this particular implementation. It was originally purchased as part of the project and we're replacing it. Thank and you. as we speak today, they're doing the acceptance test of the system, uh, tra tra traveling the uh, county and looking at 1135 grid squares to see that the radio works well there. Mm -hmm. They were doing that yesterday and today. They better finish up before the afternoon. They, yes. <laughs> they're critically aware of that. They have, yeah, they have accelerated <laughs> that plan. It's uh, Motorola and county, county uh, people as well and the fire department fire departments correct. and the fire departments are out so there there's a county person a fire person a Motorola person in each car as they do all the grid checks yep uh, they got over 60 percent done yesterday so it was really good yeah so do we have a motion to execute change order number five if it's contained in item 18 I'll make a motion second Schubel. yes Mr. Proud Yay. Aye. Yeah, that would actually be a great application for a drone. You know, you put a receiver <laughs> on there and just yeah, fly all, all the right. grids throughout the county. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. It would get us to the ones where that are inaccessible by car, yeah. which there are a few that they found. Yeah, true. Uh, 19. I'm 19 requests for various departments to join professional organizations and authorize reimbursement of routine travel expenses. May the Claremont County Facilities Management Department, <coughs> excuse me, Errol Lloyd National Fire Protection Association for $165, and the Claremont County Municipal Court and Dull Probation Department, Joe Ellison, the Ohio Chief Probation Officers Association. Okay, do we have a motion to, to grant the request to join various uh, professional organizations and authorize routine travel as contained in 19? So moved. I will second the motion. Mr. Proud. Yay. Yes. Aye. Item 20. Item 20 is a request from the Plumber County Juvenile Court for a maintenance agreement on the Cummings Bridgeway LLC as a vendor for a generator located at the facility for $2,023.27. We have a motion to approve maintenance agreement as contained in item 20. I'll make the motion. Second. Mr. Ubel. Yes. Mr. Krause. Yay. Humphrey. Aye. Uh, 21. I mean, 21, we is the res uh, approved financial and budgetary actions uh, for this week. We have one item, supplemental appropriation uh, from the narcotics assets forfeiture of $18,000. Uh, this is a seed to Suki. Do you know what this is actually for? Drug buy. Say what, Jay? Drug buys. Yeah, I was going to say drug the It's not a grant, though. No. That's next week. That's next week, okay. So do we have a motion to approve the supplemental appropriation as contained in item 21? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Proud. Yay. Hubel. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. 22. 22. Training and trial requests for this week. Claremont County Municipal Court. Magistrate Beckman, three days, Mount Sterling, Ohio, Supreme Court of Ohio Judicial College, new magistrate orientation, estimated not to exceed $673. Farmer County Juvenile Court, we have Judge Shriver, three days, Columbus, Ohio, the Knox County Juvenile Court Intercourt Conference Committee, 31st Annual, estimated not to exceed $703.75. County Sheriff's Office, Darren Wilson, Daryl Huntley, uh, two days, London, Ohio, Ohio Peace Officer Training Academy course, conducting background investigations, not to exceed $290. Jeffrey Holtgreen, David Brown, Frank Lindsay, Dan Cooper, Eric Goodman, Bill Welsh, and Doug Scott. One day, Sharonville, Ohio, for homemade explosives, awareness, recognition, and response. That's meant to exceed zero. 
and Jeffrey Holtgreen, 12 days, London, Ohio, Ohio Peace Officer Training Academy, instructional skills, estimated not to exceed zero. County Engineer's Office, Doug Royer, Sh uh, Shane Garr, Eric Eli, and Kevin Rudd, two days, Columbus, Ohio, Flexible Pavements uh, of Ohio, 2015 Ohio Asphalt Expo, estimated not to exceed $2,364. Climate County Water Resources Department, Hannah Livers, one day, Rennesville, Ohio, uh, Ohio Chapter of Soil and Water Conservation Society Winter Meeting, estimated not to exceed $70. Department of Job and Family Services, Crystal Brown, one day, Batavia, Ohio, for National Child Support Enforcement Association webinar, estimated not to exceed $295. And the Climate County Emergency Management Agency, Pam Havercross, two days, Columbus, Ohio, Emergency Management Association of Ohio Spring Conference, Estimated not to exceed three hundred twenty-five dollars and thirteen cents. We have a motion to approve the training and travel request as contained in item twenty-two. So moved. Second. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Personal action. First, we have the Clermont Transportation Connection. Cindy Pitzer, a vehicle operator, disability separation effective January twenty-second, twenty fifteen. Department of Job and Family Services. Brian Combs, social services worker three, step increase effective three thirty. Beverly Deandra, Investigator 3, Step Increase, Effective 3, 9. Angela Brandt, Income Maintenance Worker 4, Step Increase, Effective 4, 6. Sarah Bunton, Investigator 3, Step Increase, Effective 4, 20. Nancy Fender, Clerical Specialist, Step Increase, Effective 4, 27. Kimberly Boyer, Income Maintenance Worker 3, Step Increase, Effective 2, 23. Darren Bernardo, uh, Swart Administrator, Termination Resignation, Effective 2, 27. Hope Wilson, Social Service Worker 3, Step Increase, Probation End, Effective 316. Christian Ditter, Social Service Worker 3, Step Increase, Probation Ending, Effective 316. Office of Management and Budget, Tracy Fisher, Administrative Support Supervisor, Job Change Temporary, Effective 223. Water Resources Department, Chad Oberly, WSD Operator, Probation End, Effective 32. Marian Belt, Executive Assistant 1, promotion to a vacant position, effective 3 9. James Williams, WSD operator, new hire, vacant position, effective 3 16. And Ronald Zud, WSD operator, new hire to a vacant position, effective 3 16. We have a motion to approve the personnel actions as contained in 23. I'll second the motion. Mr. Proud. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, yay. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. And I see we have a need for executive session. Are there any other add-ons? Oh, right. First, okay. So do we have a motion to go into executive session pursuant to section 121.22 G4 of the I revised code to, to, to prepare for, conduct, or review negotiations or bargaining sessions with public employees concerning their compensation and other terms and conditions of their employment? Do we have a motion to go into executive session under that section? Um, so moved. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. We'll be in executive session and we can probably prepare the minutes for our review before we come back. All righty. Great. Back short. David. Uh, we're back in executive session. No decisions were made and we have the minutes in front of us and have had a moment to look them over. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes of today's meeting? So moved. And I will second the motion. Mr. Proud. Yay. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. That concludes our business for today. Thanks for joining us and God bless. <laughs>